Hello everyone, welcome again. Uh, today we are going to start with the revision series for semester two. Um, there was, uh, there were a few, uh, you know, comments uh, stating that, ma'am, you should start with revision as the syllabus is already covered on the channel. So what I'm going to do is that uh, in the description of uh, this video or the upcoming revision videos, I'll give you link for all the chapters which are there in your course. Matlab semester 2. Fine. So you can click on it and you can revise and then you can do the revision as well. So uh, please uh, like, share and subscribe the channel. And of course, ask any question uh, which you have regarding the revision or give your suggestions in the chat. I'll answer to them and of course, I'll try to make a video to answer your questions. Okay. So uh, now we are going to uh, start with the semester two. Fine. A semester one is already over. Semester two, we all know is subjective. So I'll just discuss a few general discussions, uh, general things and general observations. And then we'll solve the latest sample paper uploaded by ICSC. Fine, I'll take, you, I'll take you through each and every question and we will solve it and I'll also tell you how to answer those questions. So please watch the video carefully, it's going to be very helpful for you. So general observations, the paper is of 40 marks, uh, time provided will be 1 hour uh, 30 minutes. Uh, section A will have all uh, the questions and the questions will be compulsory. Fine, you have to uh, do all the questions of section a and it has 10 questions which are all multiple choice questions fine then uh, okay uh, section b attempt any three questions out of five there will be five questions given in section b each 10 marks and you have to attempt any three out of them so we won't be uh, you know um, uh, what do you say uh, we won't be uh, 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 choosing you have to choose you know five questions you have to choose the three so here before doing that I'll just give you a tip that when you are going through you have your reading time 15 minutes reading time when you are going through your reading time when you are going through the questions please mark the three questions so read all the questions, think the think about the answers and mark all these three questions and then do not look on, you know, the questions which you have left. Do not see through it. Rather, because when you you think I it, I Do not do that. Fine? So once you are going through the questions in your reading time, mark three questions which you are going to do because it's one, thir one hour, 30 minutes paper. So you need time to write as well. Fine. So that you need to do. I have a few more observations regarding the same. One is that there is in the whole paper, there will be one uh, question to draw. That means you will get one question where you have to draw the diagram. As per the, now I am talking as per the sample paper which has been uploaded. I, I you know, thoroughly uh, went through the whole thing and I have jotted down a few points. So the first one is that you will get one question for drawing. That means, yes, of course, you will get questions for drawing. Then, uh, hormones, uh, it's endocrine system is a very small chapter. So usme se there are questions. That means they have asked um, questions out of it. So the table which, which is given in endocrine system, that is very, very important. Abbreviations are very important. Please go through the abs uh, abbreviations. Now, one thing I want to discuss. When I was going through the questions which are given in section B, what I could understand is that in each question, like for example, they uh, take a uh, talk about question number one. In question number one, they had given, like I'll just quickly tell you what I understood. Two questions from one chapter and then two questions from one di two different chapters. There are only four chapters. So they have given each and every chapter's question in all the, uh, you know, each and every chapter is covered. That means they have not left any uh, question. So as I understood in question number one, one is from endocrine, two from circulatory system, one from nervous system. Question number two, two from circulatory, two from excretory. Question number three, uh, two from endocrine and two from circulatory. Question number four, uh, two from nervous system, one from endocrine, one from nervous system. Question number five, 
टू फ्रॉम एंडोक्राइन वन फ्रॉम नर्वस सिस्टम और यू कैन से टू फ्रॉम एंडोक्राइन टू फ्रॉम नर्वस सिस्टम सो दिस इज हाउ दे हैव यू नो दे हैव ट्राइड टू कवर एवरी थिंग सो यू डोंट यू नो इट डजेंट दे हैव नॉट लेफ्ट आउट ऑन एनी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स fine so please you know uh, four chapters it's a very small uh, syllabus so i would request everyone to go through everything whatever is there in the course uh, diligently so that uh, you know you don't lose any marks anywhere so let's just not wait uh, waste more of time and let's just start uh, with the sample paper i'll just quickly change my screen for the sample paper just give me one second uh yeah your sample paper let's just arrange it and now let's uh, start i'll start from the instructions uh, straight away now uh, icse sample it's a sample paper so of course maximum my marks 41 are one and one and half hour will be given answer to this paper are to be written on the paper provided separately you will not be allowed to write during first 10 minutes that means you will get 10 minutes reading time time spent during uh, this has to be spent during reading uh, time given at the head of the paper is time allowed for writing only now section a and b there are two parts all questions from section a and any three from section b need to be done let's just start now section a attempt all questions now these are mcq so i'll quickly take take you through them let's just okay so a muscular the muscular walls are absent in so muscular walls are absent in capillaries outermost layer of meninges now here you must know what are meninges the coverings of the brain are known as meninges its sequences are echinoid pia mater and dura mater fine so uh, uh, the sequence uh, is this uh, so outermost would be the dura then we have tears is also known as lacrimal uh, glands tear glands now which one of the following is not a simple reflex simple reflexes are the ones which can easily you know which are uh, which you can do without learning so let's just uh, have it eating eating you have to learn loop of henle lies in loop of henle lies in uh, uh, renal cortex renal medulla cortex is the outer part inner is medulla so it's the medulla pigment that gives color to the urine that is urochrome the number of spinal nerves in human 31 agar yahan spinal ki jagah they would have asked cranial so it would have been 12 the mineral element needed for the functioning of thyroid gland that is iodine iodine uh, when it is less it leads to goiter no so that's iodine the part of the brain concerned with memory it's cerebrum which is also known as the thinking and reasoning part of the brain pigment uh, the pigmented circular area seen in front of the eye that's the lens the brown part which we can see so these are these are the mcqs mcqs of course you know um, uh, it can be given from anywhere all the four chapters will be covered so uh, for mcqs you need to thoroughly you know i have been laying a stress all i laying a lot of stress on making on notes in icsc and Uh, liner wise notes not paragraphs point wise notes which will help you a lot to solve the sample papers so let's just move to the questions here it is clearly mentioned any three but we'll solve all explain the term trophic hormones and give one example each now let us just uh, talk about trophic hormones first trophic hormones are the hormones which are responsible for controlling the other hormones fine they are they directly do not perform any action they control the other so the hormones which are responsible for controlling the other uh, hormones or glands actually secretion of other hormones from the glands is known as trophic hormones one example is th uh, tsh thyroid stimulating hormone tsh is secreted by pituitary jab tak tsh will not be produced uh thyroid gland will not be produced by thyroxine uh, sorry thyroxine will not be produced by thyro thyroid gland so trophic hormones are the ones which stimulate other glands other endocrine glands to produce their hormone so example thyro uh, tsh i have told you so it's two mark question that means one one each one mark for this and one mark for this next is give the location of pericardial fluid what is its function pericardial fluid it's a fluid which is present between two pericardial layers of the heart what is its function it acts as a you know uh, cushioning layer and do not allow any friction between the two pericardial layers so this pericardial fluid is present between the two layers when the pumping of the heart takes place the layers they rub against each other but they are unable to you know 
if they'll rub against each other like this friction say they'll get damaged so this pericardial fluids prevent any damage to them given below is the diagram of blood smear and they have uh, given the blood uh, blood uh, cells here it's a very common diagram please do not miss this now here we can see biconcave so this is these are rbcs uh, then uh, these are platelets just uh, uh, and this one is wbc as we can see uh, the nuclei and the, there are uh, lobed nuclei present here i'm sorry don't mind the uh, writing because uh, with the video the tab it lags next is give the biological terms for three ear ossicles pehle aapko pata hona chahiye what are three ear ossicles the three small bones which are present in your ears so ear ossicles what are the biological names hammer and will stirrup or you can say or it is uh steps incus malus and steps then we have question number 3 mention two structure now you can clearly see that they have divided the questions according to mark one one mark each fine a uh, two two markers are there two uh, three markers are there fine so it's all uh, the division is very good mention two structural difference between arteries and veins if you have seen my videos it's clearly maine i have every time i have made a separate video and recently also a video was uploaded for the difference between arteries and veins so you can clearly write arteries have thick muscular walls veins don't have arteries do not have valves veins have valves and arteries blood flow is very high veins blood flow is low so there are many you can write any three two sorry where is bicuspid valve located what is its function fine so uh, location of by now you have to be uh, specific fine so it's present on the right side you need to write and what is its function its function is to prevent the backflow of the blood wherever valve ka function pucha hai that is to prevent the backflow of the blood draw a neat diagram now, as i told you neat diagram so neat diagram of malpighian capsule what is malpighian capsule uh, label any two parts you just have to label two parts you don't have to label more so just focus on glomerulus and bowman's capsule that's it मालपीजन कैप्सूल जब आप बनाओगे आई जस्ट ट्राई टू मेक इट सो दिस इज द बाउमस कैप्स्यूल एंड इन साइड द बाउमस कैप्स्यूल इज द कैपिलरी नेटवर्क नोन एज ग्लोमेरुलस सो यू जस्ट लेबल टू दिस इज बाउमस एंड दिस इज ग्लोमेरुलस दिस होल स्ट्रक्चर इज मालपीजन कैप्स्यूल डिफाइन द टर्म एक्सक्रीशन विच ऑफ द टू मेन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड मतलब दे आर टॉक मॉट नाइट्रोजन स्पेस और यूरिया यूरिक एसिड एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा and what is excretion removal of urine from the body is known as excretion question number 4 name the substances that initiate blood clotting starting hoti hai jinse blood clotting ki so that is the uh, uh, which uh, substance is produced thromboplastin is produced first where the uh, um, injured cells are there so it is initiation what is the mineral element requirement mineral hota hai and vitamin hota hai mineral is uh, calcium and uh, vitamin is k fine agar vitamin pooch le to here you will write uh, mineral give the exact location of adrenal gland these are cap like structures present over the kidney mention three functions of adrenalin now when you have to write three functions so you have to write one two three adrenalin it increases the heartbeat and uh, lead to you know uh, allow you to face any uh, uh, situation wherein a fight or flight situation then adrenalin enhances your uh, blood circulatory level uh, and adrenaline also um, increases or dilates your pupils so there are many changes which occur in your body those include the function and yes one of course that it helps you to fight and flight the situation what is the contraction phase of auricles called as so contraction kahi pe bhi aayega auricles ki contraction boli hai so it is auricular systole systole is for contraction diastole for relaxation name the two valves which open during this phase so opening uh, of um, if it is contraction phase so when the contraction auricles they are contracting and passing the blood to the ventricles that means the valves which are closing are bi and tri and the ones which are opening are ऑटिक एंड सेमी ऑटिंग एंड पल्मनरी सेमिलर वॉल्स तो ओपन पूछा है देखो ध्यान से अदरवाइज अगर क्लोजिंग पूछा होगा तो इट्स क्लियर इट्स मैंशन इन योर बुक ऑल्सो ट्राई एंड बाय बट दे आर आस्किंग फॉर द ओपनिंग सो ओपन वुड बी सेमिलर वैल्स हाउ आर साइटोन्स एंड एक्सॉन्स अरेज इन द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड सो साइटोन्स एंड एक्सॉन्स साइटोन टूवर्ड्स द इनर साइड एंड एक्सॉन्स टूवर्ड्स द आउटर साइड ऑफ द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ग्रे एंड वाइट पैटर साइटॉन्स दे फॉर्म द ग्रे मैटर एक्सॉन्स दे फॉर्म द वाइट मैटर 
we distinguish, distinguish the colors in dim light explain giving suitable reasons why are we unable to distinguish because during dim light the pigment which is secreted in the eyes is a rhodopsin and idopsin is responsible for the uh, you know uh, colored vision hence if i when idopsin is not produced it is uh, in a dim light we are unable to identify different colors given below is the diagram depicting an eye defect now if the uh, image is forming here and you know away from this uh, spot so yellow spot so that is myopia so what is the scientific term that is myopia mentioned one possible reason so the reason is that the uh, the lenses they become too elongated fine so the focusing becomes different types of lens which is used to correct this so the lens which is used is concave lens fourth question uh what are hormones name two hormones secreted by pituitary hormones are proteinaceous chemicals which are produced in our body and are responsible for carrying out multiple functions in the body two hormones secreted by pituitary gland adh uh, sorry you can write uh, yes of course adh gh tsh these are all hormones secreted by pituitary for this you need to learn the table which is given in your book in endocrine system from where the following nerves arise optic eye auditory ear give the full forms as i told you abbrevi abbreviations are important tsh adh tsh is thyroid stimulating hormone i told you about it already adh is anti diuretic hormone responsible for um, controlling the amount of water will, which passes in the urine what are the three main parts of membranous labyrinth so first you must know what is membranous labyrinth it is a part of the ear so what are the three parts of membranous labyrinth it uh, it has cochlea semicircular canals and vestibule so these are the three parts of uh, kai board papers mein they have given you to draw the diagram membranous labyrinth so in your book there is a diagram given uh, in nervous system, in sense organs ear ke diagram ke niche there is a diagram given that is the diagram of membranous labyrinth please learn that diagram it's very important complete the following table again the table of endocrine glands pancreas hormone secreted insulin because it is hyperglycy hypoglycemia given here so it would be insulin here uh, and a thyroid secretes uh, thyroxine thyroxine and the uh, effect of over secretion of thyroxine it is hyperthyroidism in which the basal metabolism of a person increases or enhances and the person is unable to you know even sleep and so uh, becomes very very active so that is a condition where the thyroxine secretion is increased uh, in the body of an individual so this is all about your sample paper the sample paper which was latest lately uh, uh, uploaded by icsc when your semester 2 date sheets and all were announced mm. in uh, my upcoming videos i'll be taking up uh, i'll be separately making a video for diagrams the diagrams which can come for drawing as you can see in this paper there was no uh, you know only one structural question was there but because icsc is known for structural questions so i am expecting that structural questions will be there so i'll be making a separate video for diagrams where we'll discuss that kaun se diagram structural aate hain aur kaun se diagram jo hai banane ke liye aate hain so that you can practice accordingly then we'll also be i'll be making video now after this i'll be uh, making uh, there are four chapters so four videos per chapter where i'll take up one one chapter important topics and important questions from each chapter and then we will solve a few sample papers also before you sit for your exams uh, children i am preparing you for your semester 2 board exams so there are a few who says ki hamara pre board is there uh, we have these exam and that exam i'm sorry but yes there are you know i have already covered this so everything you know uh, you can watch the videos revision is done everything is done already but yes of course board tak i'll not leave you i'll cover everything in the revision a fresh one but agar aapka pre board hai you can watch the previous revision videos and go through them and then prepare for your pre board as well aur saath saath mein ye dekhte jao apne board ke preparation ke liye so let's just uh, wind up the video now and uh, we'll meet again uh, i'll start with uh, the next video would be about the diagrams so please watch it uh, share it with your friends like share subscribe the channel so that we can grow bye everyone